Okay, I'm going to explain to you why this free agency period is even smarter than you think. Brad Holmes is doing some really good things that are, are great on the surface, but when you dig in a little bit, it's even better than it appears. So I'm going to prove to you why this was very smart because usually when you do well in free agency, you usually don't do well on the field, meaning you spend, you overspend. It looks good on, you know, it looks good. You're adding these guys, but it's really expensive and they're old. And it's usually not a good formula for actually winning on the field. But Brad Holmes, the way he's doing it is really smart. So let me just show you exactly what's going on. I'll explain a couple guys that we've signed. So in the cornerback room, remember, we went after Cameron Sutton, who we felt was the number one corner. He gets three years, 33 million. So that's about 11. That's 11 million a year. James Bad Bradbury and Jam Jamil Dean get 12 and a half and 13 million. So we don't pay the absolute top dollar, but we get what we believe is the best corner out there. Because if you look under Cameron Sutton, it really starts to drop off. I mean, we had Mike Hughes here, right? Mike Hughes is getting three and a half million dollars a year. We know he's not great. But then you go down and there's Emmanuel Mosley, who we get for six million dollars a year on a one year contract. Beautiful thing about him. He's a top five free agent corner that we get all the way down here because he's got the injury. Brad Holmes recognizes that that's his little competitive advantage. I think he really likes doing that. So just that's our corners. Remember, and I'll get to why this is so smart here in just a second. Running back, we go, we believe, we get, and I think we get the best free agent running back. I think we get one of the best running backs in the NFL. I've always thought David Montgomery is really good. Craig did a video about how he breaks and and guys miss tackles on him at a higher rate than anybody. He's strong. He's got the burst. He's got the big playability. And we get him for $6 million a year because Miles Sanders doesn't, you know, he's not every down back. He, he he's Maybe he will be in Carolina now. But you look at the other guys available right here. Bunch of no names. And we go get David Montgomery. Huge upgrade from Jamal Williams. We have to understand that. That's not drinking Kool-Aid. That's not just saying it. Just say it. Jamal Williams caught our attention because he's a different guy. He wears Pokemon hats and he says weird things. He's a, he's not fast. He's not a game breaker. Yes, he's short yardage guy. This is an every down back in David Montgomery that we get for $6 million a year. Then it gets really good. He goes out and he finds... All the way down here, you can't even find him. Chauncey Gardner Johnson at six and a half million a year, who is the best safety out there. Jesse Bates, I get it. There's some there's some arguments to be made, but let's just be serious. He's 25 years old. Chauncey Gardner Johnson, everything that he brings for us to get him at 6.5 million, awesome. Okay, so you think, all right, adding guys this is good. I love who we added. We fixed holes. We've got some different things, and then of course we re-signed some of our guys. And so if you look at some of the re-signings that we had, I absolutely love this because, so there's our new guys. Here's our re-signed. Sudfeld, whatever, Craig Reynolds, okay, fine, fine. Isaiah Bugs. if we all had to agree, that's a guy we had to have back. Kaminsky, that's a guy we had to have back. Alex Anzalone, you guys have helped me on that. I didn't love it at first, but a team fit, everything, boom, we'll take him back. Will Harris. Out of the guys that were available, the Mike Hughes's, the Owarie's, Will Harris, out of those three, yes. Badgley, love it. Get him back. So you signed, you re-signed all your gotta have them guys. Thank you, Brad Holmes, for doing that. You did that as well. Signed elsewhere, guys. Look, we would love to keep Evan Brown. We filled that hole. But Hughes, Owarie, Josh Woods is only the only other one I would have loved to see us grab back. He's looking at an opportunity to maybe go play linebacker more full-time. Fine. DJ Chark, that one we can debate. But my point is, out of out of all the guys we didn't resign, probably one or two that you're like, yeah, I would like to get him back. But we got almost everybody back that we wanted. So we spent on new guys probably $40 million-ish, let's call it. And this is where it gets really smart by Brad Holmes, and this is where he takes it to another level. Brad Holmes was able to come in here and take these guys that we, we re-signed our, our guys, but we started to mess with the salary cap. Now, I'm no salary cap buff, but look, check this out. Michael Brockers, $10 million in cap space. Tracy Walker, we're gonna, he's like, we're going to need to restructure your deal. Bang. Romeo, restructure. Vitae, right there. Those guys are about $20 million, $30 million if you count Michael Brockers. Tracy Walker with under $3, 4000000 Charles Harris, same thing. Jack Fox. 
not only do you restructure and save money about 40 to 50 million just in restructures, but you keep the player. So we keep Romeo, the Charles Harris, the Vitae, Vitae for, you know, he's going to be able to play tackle guard center and you save money. So you spent about 40, 50, I mean, we could get down granular here, but you spent 40, $50 million on new guys, big impact guys, but you saved 40, $50 million on the restructures and you kept the player. So it's like you added two separate ways, if that makes sense, the new guys plus the existing guys of the Romeo, Oquaras, Vitae, Charles Harris. I mean, there's three guys right there and Tracy Walker that really didn't play last year that are coming back into your team that you saved money on. So you've just added about eight new players. Like we could have easily cut those guys, the Tracy Walker, Romeo. We could have easily cut Tracy Walker, Romeo, Vitae, Jack Fox, probably I wouldn't cut him, but Walker, Romeo, Vitae, and Charles Harris, we could have easily cut, but instead, hey, we're going to basically cut you, and then we want to re-sign you. That's what we did. We, we're we going to cut you, but don't go out there. We're going to re-sign you to a good deal. You'll like it, but it saved the Lions $40, $50 million, just what we spent. So Brad Holmes, it's not, and, and Lions fans, we keep saying this, it's not that he's adding the right players. It's that he's doing it the right way. You cannot go out and just throw money at guys, big names, just to get them to come in. While that would look, look good on the surface and while that would energize the fan base and maybe the team, we've seen that in the past. The Dre Blys, the, <laughs> the uh, Azah- Azahir Akeems, We've added over the years free agents, Golden Tate, you name you name the free agents, Glover Quinn. All these guys have worked. Maybe they didn't. Who knows? Free agency. But at the end of the day, it just did not work. You didn't have a culture. You didn't have all the things. So now we've got a culture. We've got a GM being smart but really effective in free agency. And now you've got a GM that that's, that's not even his specialty. That's not even what he's known for. He's known for the draft. So let me know your thoughts in the comments about Brad Holmes, what he did in free agency, and how good that was. Now, as we head into the draft, as we look for what he's going to do there, so I, I just am excited for a GM that has us on the right track in free agency and in the draft, and because what this is going to be is sustainable, and that's what we've always wanted as Lions fans. We, we've, we've always, you know. Okay, we've been had a good season here. Bad, 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 bad. Good season, bad, bad, bad. Now it looks like we could just be kind of good all the time and then really catch the right season, catch the right circumstances, and really make a run at the playoffs in the playoffs. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I will see all of you on the next one.